told you to keep the door locked. examine you later today. I know you're just overcome with gratitude. What do you want me to say? Forget it. What's that for? It's a portable stove. You cook on it. Can you cook steaks on it? Yes, you can cook steaks on it, but I'm not going to. If you want a steak, cook it yourself. It was very nice of you bringing a stove here, such as it is. Well, what do you know? You said thank you. Well, at least you came close. Thank you for a lot of things. Well, let's not get carried away, okay? No, I mean it. I've been a burden to you, and I think about that a lot. Yeah? Come to any conclusions? Yes. I have a question. You help me so much and I just don't understand why. Why? I think you almost sound serious. No, I don't understand. Why do you bother? Because you're special. What way? I don't know. You're... There's something about you. It's completely different. Who knows, maybe you really are a princess. If I could tell you... If I... Go on, if you could tell me what? You're nothing. You know, that's another thing about you. You turn off and on like a light bulb. Because it's because I'm only reacting. To what? I don't know, this situation, being cooped up here. What do they call it, cabin fever? I really do miss my freedom. Anybody follow you? I'm sure no one saw me. How's the leg? Well, the answer. Well, good. Let's take a look. Are you sure nobody followed you? I am sure. It's, uh, it's not too weird, though, you know? What do you mean, weird? Well, you know, in med school, they taught me to uh, make a house call, but they never said it was going to be a cloak and dagger operation. Does a day or two sound? Really? Yeah, guaranteed. Great. Get the cast off, put an ace bandage on you and a cane, and you'll be much more mobile. It's the best news I've heard in a long time. I can't believe you'd want to leave this place. It's quite a setup, you know? Yeah, this is quite a palace, but you can bet I'll be out of here as fast as I can. Okay. Well, whatever you decide, I want you to have good luck, okay? okay. Are you sure that I get this cast off real soon? I am definitely sure. See anybody outside? I want to know. Did anybody ever tell you you worry too much? Well, it pays sometimes. Thanks. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So, gonna be leaving in a day or two, huh? In one condition, of course. What's that? As soon as this cast comes off, you give me that ring, and I'll be on my way. We'll see. What do you mean, we'll see? You'll be glad to get rid of me, won't you? Well, I'll admit it will definitely be a relief, yes. Then it's settled. Maybe. What do you want to eat tonight? 
nothing. Wait a minute. And I bought, I bought steaks. I got some stuff to make a salad. I'm set. Forget it. I said I'm not hungry. I let it lock my appetite. Now what are you doing? Does it look like I'm leaving? It's awful quick, isn't it? Tony said the cast wouldn't be off for a couple more days. I can manage to loan, cast or no cast. Why the sudden change? He said it would relieve you if I made went away, so I'm relieving you. Fine. You need any help? From you? No formal goodbyes? <laughs> well, that's pretty quick. Less than a minute, actually. You would let me go, wouldn't you? Well, I knew you'd be back. What made you so sure? Because you wouldn't leave without this. Give me that. No way. Give it to me, damn it! It's mine! Don't you? Yes, I'm starved. Then talk. After we talk, we eat. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I'm thinking. About what? Well. Whether to tell you the truth about myself or not. Oh. In other words, you've lied up to now. Let's just say I vetted a few basic facts. So this means I get to hear the whole unexpurgated version now? Yes. For starters, I really am a princess. Okay. I am! All right. Okay. My great-great-great-great-great-grandfather was the Emperor Maximilian. Don't you know who he was? The only Maximilian I've ever heard of was my next-door neighbor's sheepdog. <laughs> Don't be snide. Maximilian was the younger brother of Franz Joseph, the Emperor of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. He became the Emperor of Mexico in 1862. Frankie Joe. No, Maximilian. Oh. Don't you know anything about history? I'm learning. I'm learning. Maximilian was married to the Belgian Princess Carlotta. Your great-great-great-great-grandmother. No. Carlotta couldn't have any children, so Maximilian had a mistress. She was a descendant of the Aztec royal house. And then they had a son. Oh. Let's see, that would make him... Let me think, your great 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 Grandfather. Yes. When Maximilian was executed by Juarez and the Mexican revolutionaries in 1867, his son was just a baby. Uh -huh. His mother smuggled him out of the country and took him to Texas, where he eventually grew up and then married my great-great-great-grandmother. How do you know all this stuff? I mean, did you trace it all? 
My great-grandmother told me everything before she died. And where did this all happen? At home in Texas. My grandmother runs an inn there. It was the grand high end of the family until we lost our money. I stayed there until recently. Like how recently? Just a few weeks until I came to Port Charles. Okay, go on. Please. My grandmother gave me a small birthday party at the inn. My sick great-grandmother was there, and then there was this charming young couple, and then there was Peter, of course. Wait a minute. Peter, of course? My fiancé. Huh. Let's see. Why are you frowning? Uh, the smoke got in my eyes. You're not cooking. No, but I'm thinking about it. My stomach kind of turned when I heard Peter. Well, maybe you're just hungry. Yeah, maybe I'm just hungry. Maybe I ought to get started on those steaks, huh? Okay, you go right ahead and I'll finish my story. Great. This is our cocktail before the steaks. Aren't steaks supposed to be broiled? No, not with this kind of stove. You have to fry them in a pan. Don't worry, they're going to be good, though. Yeah, plenty of meat, too. How much more time till they're done? Don't worry, you've got plenty of time. What? You have plenty of time to finish your story. You're having a birthday party at your grandmother's. Come on. My grandmother's mother is in her bedroom. Your great-grandmother? Yes. She was very ill. She was dying. I'm sorry. She wasn't in pain. Even though she was very old, she was very beautiful. After Peter and everyone had drunk a toast to me, she summoned me up to her bedside. I left the party, and then I went upstairs. Come in, Felicia. Happy birthday, child. Gracias, querida. How are you feeling, Mother? Well enough for what I have to do. Stand back. There in the light so I can look at you. My beautiful, beautiful Felicia. No, not as beautiful as you. There's beauty in every season, every time. But you are young to understand such things. Whatever I've learned or understood, it's I've learned from you or grandmother. <laughs> Tonight you will learn more. Come close and listen carefully. Oh, I always listen carefully when you speak, Carida. You know you are a true princess. Do you know your heritage, child? I know I'm a descendant of a union of the Emperor Maximilian and an Aztec princess. You're the last of the line. The heir to all their courage and pride. And more. Much, much more. What do you mean? Many have died to preserve the heritage that is your birthright. Tonight I shall reveal the secret to you. I don't understand. Come closer, child. Give me your hand. That is your ring. I've never seen it off your finger. Not from this moment on. It is your ring. Symbol of your royal birth and key to your heritage. You are speaking in riddles. No. Tonight I shall reveal it all to you. But first, swear to God the ring with your life. I swear. What you will hear now, from my lips to your heart, is the great family secret. You must guard the secret and the ring. Swear. I 
swear. Come close. Now listen. You mean you actually like something that I cooked? Anything's good when you're hungry. Oh, well, that explains it. Ah, it's time for the surprise. What surprise? Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Wine. Yes, you will find that this is a very... Modest vintage. You'll also find that it is strangely subtle. Let it breathe. Okay. Maybe we should drink a toast, huh? To your ring and to your secret, Princess. There you mock me. Oh, I'm not. I'm very impressed. I really do want to know what happened after your great grandmother told you a secret. Not a secret. The secret. Okay. The secret. So go on. Don't keep me in suspense like this. What happened was almost unbelievable. Very sad. Why have we never tried to find the heritage before this? Because we were... There are many sons are ready to hop in. I know what they want. They mustn't find the ring. Go, go quickly. Felicia, there's the money in the drawer. There, go on. Go, dear. Get off. My darling. Oh. Keep safe. So you swiped the guest bag with the ticket and hit the road? I didn't know what else to do. I had to get away. You're a quick thinker, I'll tell you that much. Then what? I got the ticket and came to here. Oh. Just like that, huh? I knew I was in danger. And those guys were after me. They followed me here, and I knew that. I had the ring. You mean those characters that have been following us? We've been ducking them? Mm-hmm. I'll never give up. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's, let's back up here a little bit. Now, you say that these bandits or, or whoever, that they got away with a uh, priceless heirloom. Yes, they did. And what was this priceless heirloom? I can't tell you. Well, why not? You told me pretty much already. I can't tell anyone, that's it. And I'm asking you again, why not? Don't you think I have feelings? I've already put your life in danger. Telling you any more would be worse. And what if I say I'll just risk it? Anymore. But I have something to ask you. That figures what? Do you believe me? Well, I guess that deserves an honest answer. Well, do you believe me? Please, it's very important. I'd have to think about it. But I can't tell you one thing. If I do believe you, mm -hmm. when Tony takes that cast off... Yes, then what? You're not going to walk out of my life. 